We're partnering with the Center for Pediatric Genomic Medicine at Children's Mercy to do research into the causes and uh, potential treatments for infants with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. We know that babies that are diagnosed under age one who have acute lymphoblastic leukemia, otherwise known as ALL, have a much worse prognosis. They tend to get into remission pretty quickly, so they have an initial response to the treatment, but then after a few months of treatment, it's not uncommon for the leukemia to relapse. And when it does, it comes back really aggressively. My hope is that we ultimately find something that can be targeted, potentially a new medicine or new therapy that could be added to the chemotherapy that we already give to babies with leukemia. I <laughs> see. Casi como la segunda casa. Yes, he is. So the case that's here today, this is a little Hispanic baby who presented at nine days of age. Um, and she has what we call infant acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Uh, when she presented, when she was transferred to us, her, her white blood cell count was about 166,000, which the high end of normal for that age group, even with an infection, would be about 25,000. And the problem with infant ALL is those white counts can literally just go up by 100,000 in a day. In 24 hours, it can just keep multiplying. And so it is a condition that has to be diagnosed rapidly, and you know we need to get treatment started as quickly as we can. Brizia actually then got admitted to our neonatal unit, and her parents opted to enroll her into this children's oncology group trial. So she is one of 49 babies around the world who are part of the trial, who are receiving azacitidine in addition to standard chemotherapy. Brizia's prognosis, like any child with infant ALL, is, is not too good. My research focuses on trying to understand why Hispanics have the highest incidence of leukemia, the poorest prognosis, and the highest rate of relapse, because it's a very rare disease. I'm glad she's responded well. She's, she's actually clinically done quite well. She did spend the first 60 days of her life in the hospital because the chemotherapy is so toxic that we have lots of reservations about sending those, those babies home because they could get very sick and die of infection at home. So we keep them here so they can be monitored. <laughs> She's currently in complete remission. She'll stay that way. And this newer medicine that we're adding on will be part of improving her chances for a cure. We have a pretty large cancer center. We actually see about 180 new cases of cancer in children and adolescents every single year at Children's Mercy. And our center, we have the ability to offer national clinical trials. We're very, very fortunate in Kansas City to have these resources. There would really be no need for a patient to leave. You can stay here in Kansas City to get world-class care. I'm coming home.